What's up guys and welcome back for another Technicians Tuesday. This week we will be continuing on our process of getting this 300 HPDI up and running by opening up and cleaning out the Vapor Separator Tank or VST. Before we get started I want to give a huge thank you to all of our subscribers for getting us to that 1000 subs mark. We are so thankful for all of you and we hope to continue making videos that help you out. Now let's open up this VST. In our last video we pulled off the VST from the engine. I'll make sure and put a link in the description if you haven't gotten a chance to check that out as well as an article about VSTs if you would like to learn more about them. With the VST off of the engine, we put it in a vise and remove all of the screws holding the top of the tank on. Then we can carefully wiggle the top until it pops off. But be careful not to break the wires going to the fuel pump. If the pump is stuck like this one, pull the green tab that is covering the connector off and then unplug the fuel pump to get the top all the way off. Most of the time the gasket is going to have expanded and will not be reusable. You can try and place it back onto the tank to see if it will fit. If not, we will have to replace that gasket. We'll set that to the side and then remove the fuel pump. If it is really bad like this tank, we had to take a screwdriver to pry on the pump and break it free to get it out of the tank. There isn't much to the tank itself, so for that we just clean it out the best we can and get as much of the rust or whatever you find inside the tank out and then place it back into the vise. This tank here was absolutely filthy. We will need to replace the fuel pump screen for sure and see if we can clean up the gasket and the metal washer that goes under the fuel pump. To remove the screen you should be able to twist it to the left and then pull the assembly off of the pump. Then pull the metal plate and the rubber gasket off of the screen. We'll move on and test the fuel pump to see if we can get it to spin. This pump was locked up, so we stuck it into an ultrasonic cleaner to see if it would free up. While that is cooking, we want to clean the rest of the VST out. We'll pull off the screws to the float and then remove the float. Make sure you don't lose this little spring part here that goes to the needle assembly. This one was stuck in place, so we pulled it out and checked the tip of the needle to make sure it wasn't worn. You want to have a pyramid-like point on the end of it that lets you know it's still good. Now we'll clean out where the needle assembly fits in and make sure that the needle will move freely inside of its spot. And now we'll go ahead and take off that strainer that goes on the top and make sure it's clean. You can just clean it out and blow through it. If you can't blow through it, it's clogged and it will need to be changed. If not, that's great news because everything on this engine is extremely expensive. We'll go ahead and pull off the pressure regulator here by removing the two screws and then pulling the assembly out. Just use some contact cleaner and spray it out on both sides to get any junk out of it. Then we can take a screwdriver and pull out the screen that sits behind it. We'll want to spray that off and clean it out too. Make sure and spray through the top of the tank before installing any of these parts back on. But after we know they are all clean, insert the screen and then use some oil to seal the o-rings and install the pressure regulator onto the top. Hook up the hose again and we'll go ahead and install the barrel filter onto the top and tighten up the Oetker clamp on it. For this situation we were able to free up the fuel pump by applying power to the pump and then reversing the power, doing that back and forth until it freed up after being in the cleaner. We took the metal plate to the wire wheel and then cleaned up the rubber gasket. This whole pump assembly is like 800 bucks, so you want to reuse as much of it as you can. We'll take the metal plate and then put the screen into the plate and place the rubber grommet around it. Now we can slide it back onto the pump and twist the screen so that it locks the assembly back in place.
Put this little plastic piece on and then don't forget this other little spacer piece before hooking up the pump and pushing it back into the top of the VST. It's also really important that you don't forget this little green piece here that goes onto the nope. clip or else you will have to take the tank back apart and put it on. Now just place the little spring back on the float with the needle on the spring and tighten the screws back down that holds it in place. And we now have the assembly back together and ready to put back onto the tank. We'll take the gasket and using grease to hold it in place, we can set the gasket and then carefully drop the top of the tank back in place and screw the top back on with all of the screws. These spacers here can be a pain, but if you look at them, you can slide them together by lining up all of the little tabs and then putting the metal washers onto the bolts. And now we are ready to put the VST back onto the engine and see what it does. Which is pretty basic. I like to load up the ends of the bolts like this with grease to help hold the washer and spacer assemblies together. Then just get the bolts started and tighten them up. Push the barrel filter back into the hose and put all of the hoses to the top back on. Plug in the fuel pump and we are ready to start this engine and see what happens. We'll prime up the fuel system and then turn the key. Just like that, we've got this engine running again. We'll shift it into gear because these engines drop two cylinders off when idling, so that way we've got all six cylinders firing and rev it up to see how it sounds. With the engine sounding great, that'll close out this week's Technician's Tuesday. I want to thank all of our subscribers again for all of the support, and if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel and join the Tuesday crew. While you're at it, give the video a thumbs up and let us know what you thought of the VST cleaning process in the comments section below. I'll put those links in the description below, and don't forget, you can also reach us on our website at bornagainboating.com. Enjoy your Tuesday night, and we'll see you next week.